y'all i just wanted to come today and i wanted to show y'all the two different ways that you are able to braid because i know a lot of people want to learn to braid and you know the hand position that works for one person might not work for everybody so i do like to show people that you know you do have options in the way that you braid so this first method i'm going to show y'all i'm not sure if it's overhanded or underhanded or whatever they call it but just follow me so what you want to do is start out with your three strands like you always do um, when braiding and what you do is see I have my left strand my middle strand and my right strand I'm gonna take this right strand cross it under the middle then I'm gonna catch the left strand catch the right strand again and then I start to pick up a little hair with it See now I'm picking up hair but all you're doing is that same thing crossing over right to left just cross over and now this way of braiding I feel like it gives you um, a flatter braid with certain styles like Sometimes I prefer to braid this way because I just feel like it's much more um, neat and gives you a nice flat braid. And you can do, I do feed in braids this way as well. So there is a way that you add the hair in, but it's a little more advanced. I just wanted to give people a little sample who might be wanting to learn. know how to do so I won't show the feed in method right now but you would just take it like how I got this position I would take my extra hair and slide it under my thumb and I would keep you know keep going with the same method and now this one when I braid this way it does take a little longer for this I wouldn't say this is like the fastest way to braid but I feel like it's the neatest um, well I mean, both ways are neat. It really just depends on, you know, whatever is more comfortable for you. But as you can see, that braid is forming. And you kind of, you know, you just keep on going. I mean, my heart is breaking right now. You both are incredible young men who are testaments to your incredible families. Keep on Adam, going. Your ability, your desire to want to take risks See that braid, nice and neat, nice and flat. Boom, boom. Boom. See there? Nice, neat braid. And you just grab that hair as you can see how my fingers are going. Now, I'll show you all the normal way because some people just can't braid at all so this is for people who you know can't braid at all beginners and they want to see you know how they would start I already had parted this piece off so let me comb it out and let me show y'all this method and this is the most common method of braiding the way I was braiding first I don't see a lot of people braiding that way but people definitely do so this is the same way three strands the same way I have to get my hands right because I'm so used to braid in a certain way. But you do the same thing. It's really just like you're holding your hands different. Excuse my kids in the background, y'all. See, with this way, you do the same thing. But this way, sometimes I have to kind of grab the hair. Uh-oh. Whoopsie. Hit my little stand. Focus again. Okay. I can't believe he's going home. Oh, who went home? Shane? What? Wow. So this way you do the same. You're just crossing over, grabbing hair. Crossing over, grabbing hair. And you'll see this braid start to form as well. So you kind of just have to find what works out for you. Uh oh, this braid might get a little ugly because I done crossed in some wrong hair. Go back. That's 
my son, honey. He had to get in the mix. Boy, stop that yelling. So loud. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do me start me a YouTube. I know it's a lot of people who already do hair on YouTube, but you know, different people teach different ways. So the way I teach might help somebody a way that you know the way another person teach don't help them. So the finale. See that. <laughs> same way but like I said if I'm doing mostly if I'm doing like sew-ins or crochets where my braids won't show that's when I braid this way because I really feel like braiding the other way gives me the most neatest braid and flattest braid which I can braid good this way too as well it's not the neatest braid right now but I just wanted to show y'all you know the two different hand positions really but yeah those are the two ways that you can start a braid or cornrow as they call it and if I decide to continue on with these videos, y'all got to let me know. Because I can show y'all how to add hair this way, feeding in the hair um, with the underhanded or overhand method. I'm not sure what it's called. I just know how to braid two different ways. And then, you know, the regular method. But yeah, that's I just wanted to show y'all that. So, have a good day. Hope y'all learned something by watching these videos. Bye.